My name is Mina Shem, and I have a film called Meditation Park. It's a Vancouver set story about a 60-year-old Chinese Canadian woman, Maria, played by Chen Pei Pei, who um, has devoted her whole life to her family. She's got grandchildren, devoted her life to her husband, and uh, the day after his 65th birthday, she's doing the laundry and she discovers someone else's string thong. And so, in order to find the truth, she has to set out into the world for the first time. And it really becomes her journey of liberation. You develop a shorthand when you've worked together for that long. And the fact that when she read the script and really responded, she texted me right away after reading the script and went, oh my God, this is, I'm crying, I'm in, what do you need me to do, where do you need me to do it? I live in the Hastings Sunrise area, um, which is actually, in fact, for the film, we shot a block away from my house. I would walk down the alley to <laughs> lunch at my own house because it was closer than going to the camera truck. I love the landscape of um, that East Vancouver, Hastings Sunrise area. You've got the big mountains, you've got industrial waterfront, and you've got all sorts of people trying to find their shade. And, to me, that is that is life. That is the existential crisis right there. That is the quest, and it's represented physically. It's so funny. I'm looking across the street right there at the alley, and I shot a movie, a little short called "I Saw You," in that alley, totally illegally. Without, with you know, we, we had to let traffic pass. The, the cops would come, and we'd hide the cameras. It the community is changing so much. Um, and, I, and yet I don't, suffer, I don't suffer that. I don't, I don't try to prevent change. I do wistfully look at places and go, oh, the place on the corner where my dad used to buy the 7-Up Pop with the, in the glass bottle, it's gone. One of the things I, I wanted to do with this film, and not, it wasn't even conscious, but I think it was kind of me as an audience member with an ache, with a need, with a, I saw a lack. Um, if I can go see a film, if I can go see a film with uh, Ryan Gosling in it and feel his hero journey and be completely absorbed by his quest, then why can't someone that looks like Ryan Gosling go see Maria Wang and Chen Pei Pei have a heroic journey and inhabit that? If we can break those walls, if we can, if heroes look they can be short, they can be fat, they can be uh, different colors, they can have purple hair, they can be all sorts of people. If we can actually transcend what the, and, and reinvent what a hero is, then I think we can break down barriers. The great thing is Chen Pei Pei does such a great job in the film. The first two people that came up to me at the screening at TIFF after the world premiere were two South Asian young women and I think a Ukrainian gentleman in his 60s who were like, oh my God, I have to take my whole family to this movie. And I was like, there, that's it. If, if her story can mean as much as the um, mainstream story of what a hero is, then, then we're getting somewhere.